I just want to say really quickly, uh, growing up in Memphis, Tennessee, um, I was called all types of names just for being creative. And um, I remember I ended up on this <clears throat> small television show um, <laughs> called the Disney Channel's new MMC. <laughs> before Seventh Heaven. <laughs> but not as important. Um, um, and I was 10 years old, and all of a sudden, I was around a group of young people that were like me, that were different. And um, I'll never forget uh, a very good friend of mine, still to this day, he lives in Portland. He's an amazing songwriter and producer. His name is Matt Morris. We were, um, his mother and um, my mother became very close friends. Um, I was obsessed with his voice, like one of the most amazing voices. I actually learned how to riff because I would follow him around and he would go, ma, and I would be like, ma. <laughs> and uh, so I was probably very annoying to him. Um, but I remember, I'll, I'll never forget, he was 14 years old, I was 12 years old, and uh, we were riding our bikes in Orlando, Florida, where you ride your bikes. And uh, he, said, he said, hey man, I have something I have to tell you. And, uh, and I said, yeah, I know. And he said, no, it, it's very important to me. And I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> and, he, and he said, okay, I'm just gonna say it. And I go, yeah, I know. <laughs> he said, I'm gay. To which I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> and he said, really, you know? I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> he said, how do you know? I said, Matt, you make us breakfast in your own tortilla pan <laughs> with a headband on while you're wearing a mud mask every morning. <laughs> I said, and you know what? I love you for that. Um, this is not part of our speech, but I just felt compelled to say it because it just kind of hit me. Um, we're also big Mars fans, so we felt like, oh, this is yours? We also felt like this was appropriate. You're tilting yours, I'll tilt mine to the side, girl, shit. <laughs> Take them off, we look like we're in another boy band. Um, okay, uh, uh, we, these young people here tonight, I, I, we're just blown away, the two of us. Uh, thank you so much. Um, as Joe uh, mentioned, and as you may have heard, we are, uh, uh, my beautiful wife and I are, uh, are a couple of new parents. <laughs> We're not very good at it yet. Um, so first, we, we wanna say thank you to uh, Glisten, uh, not just for this uh, meaningful honor we are proud to share, but for a quarter century of inspiring positive change, which means, yes. Which means you are right around the same time as the Mickey Mouse Club, but still not as important as Seventh Heaven. <laughs> I'm kidding, very important. Um, we want to thank you for leading the way to make our schools more safe, 
welcoming, and yes, inspiring places for all of our children. Thank you for inviting us here tonight to be part of this amazing event. And also thank you for allowing uh, mommy and daddy to have a rare date night out together. Oh yeah. With other adults. Honey, look around. This is what adults look like. They do exist. They do exist. <laughs> you don't smell like poopy diapers. <laughs> Some of you do. And we're okay with that actually. Um. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> to be new parents is to witness up close and very personal the full miracle that every individual little girl and boy really is. So thank you, Glisten, so much for all that you do to ensure the individuality of every kid Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, is respected, protected, and treasured in our schools. And to the young people that we are incredibly blown away by tonight. I'm talking to you, Mars. Um, and also the young people who will read this quote or some quote of this from social media, hopefully not the profane one. Um, Jess and I share this honor with all of you. Uh, every day, all of you are also standing proudly on the right side of history. And even, uh, and even with all the trouble in our world today, this movement clearly is winning and is going to keep on winning. So, we say thank you uh, for starting a trend for change, a change that one day would make it possible for our own son to grow up and thrive in a world where, like my new boss, he's going to be your boss at some point if he's not Jeffrey Katzenberg, <laughs> uh, said, uh, where all he has to do is just be himself. And lastly, to anyone here tonight who may have been bullied, or treated unfairly for being who you are? Raise a hand. Oh look, we, are, we all are the same. <laughs> we would like to leave you with a little quote from one of our favorite poets and playwrights, Oscar Wilde. A man who had no problem being his true self, even at a time when there was zero acceptance. And here it goes. Always forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them so much. <laughs> Listen, we love you, we thank you, we stand by you. We're gonna stop talking now and keep the show moving because mommy's looking hot and it's date night. So we're gonna go home and you can figure out the rest. <laughs> Good night everybody, thank you. Good night.